uh, has a new poem called The First Two Years Near Uni. I used to stay up all night burning candles dim and punishing my mind. I was searching for the right rhyme. I cashed a petrol voucher in for a single cream egg so I could pocket the change. That would buy a dozen beers later on that day when the overnight essay was eventually out of the way with its 1.5 spacing and a pretty decent bibliography considering I'd only read the back cover of one book but I read it heaps as if there was a secret in there that might have helped to unlock the essay. Back then 1500 words would tie us all in knots. Now I lap that shit every day and no one is asking. There is no deadline or there are infinite extensions and the bibliography is a separate document that never needs to be handed in. I took such pride in passing someone's philosophy essay for them. I wasn't enrolled, but I guaranteed them a pass grade. It was a B minus and I got a dozen beers for the night of no sleep. Someone gave me an old stereo and I spent $100 on records at a dollar a pop. Instant collection. Would play my meditation tapes in one deck with Jean-Michel Jarre's Oxygen playing on the turntable as a special soundtrack to the spoken instructions. There were posters on every inch of the wall. When I ran out of space, I just went down the hall. And for our French exam, we wore berets, sculled a cheap bottle of shampoo straight after, and laughed down the hill. My only study prep was reading a book about Charles de Gaulle, so I could drop that name fucking good and extremely hard. It worked. The B-plus made me bulletproof. History classes were history to me after the very first. Politics was passed just by reading the newspaper. And I did, the, I did like the English texts because they included On the Road and The Great Gatsby and things I'd already read or would have wanted to get to anyway. And hey, another easy pass and that felt pretty good. And all of it was such a crock of shit and a whale of a time and a lapse into its own special and very entitled faux madness. And when the year was over, no one wanted to live in a flat with me and I couldn't blame them and I didn't care. So I moved into a bed sit, let rats shit wherever they liked it barely seemed to matter because I had songs in the key of life on double vinyl and a lava lamp. I also had no chance of doing it all again. So, sure, I went to student health and stole the pad with the medical certificates, faked them a bunch and got the law lecturer to agree that they were the genuine article. But when I phoned up for my results, the wheels came off big time. I was a joke and now I knew it too. Things had to change, but they didn't. And it sometimes hurts to think about it. Sim simply because it's so stupid, so utterly embarrassing. You might say wasted talent, but only one of those words is accurate, and it's no excuse, and it's the reason for the embarrassment. They were good times, I still told myself that, but even I couldn't believe it any longer. <laughs>